We start with the most important thing is ethics. We talk about the Medical Laboratory Technology Act and all the ethics that are associated with Patient Confidentiality, PIPA, Patient Information Privacy Act, and PIPA. So we teach our students there. We start at the basics. We teach them professionalism, how to carry themselves, how to address a patient, uh, how to address somebody's family member, because sometimes it's not just the patient that you have to deal with. Uh, and then we teach them anatomy and physiology. They need to know every body part and how the systems in the body work and how they work together. And then from there we go to, which is our biggest module, and that's lab safety. Lab safety and specimen procurement. So safety is very, very important and we tout it from day one to the very end. We teach that. From safety we move into hematology. We teach our students how to make blood films because a technologist has to read it. We look for diseases such as leukemia or, you know, parasites such as malaria. They're all in blood. We teach them how to do that. We teach them how to stain it. Hemoglobins. How do you know if you have iron deficiency? So we talk in depth about that. Uh, from hematology, we go to ECGs. Everything to do with the heart. How to, how to do a 12 lead ECG. So, you know, they do it on each other. They practice ECGs on each other. We have an ECG room here uh, that's private and they go in and they do a 12 lead ECG on each other and they can read the strips. From ECGs, we move on to chemistry and we teach them all about the analytes that are in your body, your sodium, your potassium. You know, when you're dehydrated, your body's off equilibrium. So we talk about what do we do to get you back in balance? So that's chemistry. We talk about diabetics because that means your sugars are too high. So we teach them how to do a glucometer, which is checking your, your blood sugar with a finger poke for diabetes. Uh, we teach them about what we call glucose tolerance tests. So women at 28 weeks pregnancy go have a gestational diabetes test in case they end up being diabetic while they're pregnant. But of course, then there's type two diabetes as well so we talk about that as well we talk about the body systems we talk about quality control how important it is in lab to make sure that everything is controlled everything works the way we say it works because that's part of our accreditation we're doing what we're telling everybody that we're doing and we're doing it correctly so we have to make sure what we're doing is accurate it's precise it's accurate it's safe from chemistry, we move on to lab math, and then we have all these steps of quality. The whole program, which is quality management, quality assurance, right down to quality control. So we teach them that. And here you can see we have a urinalysis uh, analyzer out because the class is doing that right now. So they use a dipstick and they see if there's blood or ketones or bacteria in the urine. And we teach them how to process that. So lots of different fluids in the body that we talk about and that's all part of the, that uh, module. Then we move on to micro, bacteria, viruses, all that wonderful stuff and we grow them. And here in, in, uh, at Anderson, we use non-pathogens. Non-pathogens are bacteria that are safe, that are not gonna be harmful to our student because back to safety, that's our paramount thing. That is very important to us that our students are working in a safe environment and we make sure that they're using safe bacteria when they're practicing. And these are all things that they're gonna be doing in the field. And then from there we go to histo, which is, you know, biopsies and tumors and things like that. And they get to see what that looks like under a microscope and how we process them, pap smears. And then of course, exams. We do testing, we do lots of testing. Um, you can't be proficient if we don't test you. And if we test you and you're struggling, then we help to get you proficient. So it's, it's a very, very fast paced program, but a lot of support from all the instructors here. And then when you graduate or you're finished the didactic, then we send you out to placement. So you do an internship that, that you get to choose of the places that we have. And we send you out there and you spend four weeks at your internship. And, um, you know, I just had a student come in who just got hired at her internship and she's at Jurovinsky Hospital right now. So that's very, very good for her. And it speaks volumes about our program because our students are so successful. And when they're done our program, then they write those two exams and they keep in touch. You know, if they're struggling and they can't find a job, they reach out to us and we help them. Or if they're moving, I've had a student move to the US and she reached out for me from Florida and, um, I sent the credentials down for her and she's working at one of the hospitals in Orlando. So they're eligible to work anywhere once they're certified and have the credentials.